Hello YouTube artists! Welcome to In the Studio with Kelly Hernig. Today we're going to be doing part two of my October favorites. And this is all about painting. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Hope he makes you smile. And part one was all about design. So I will link part one in the description box below in case you missed it. But part two I want to make sure that you know that a lot of the painting parts are going to be fast forwarded. When I was finished with this video, it was over an hour and you don't need to sit through that. So I did real time in the parts that I thought were important for you to see and then the rest is all fast forwarded. So are you ready? Let's go paint. So I wanted to share with you the colors that I'm using here. I am using Roman Schmal, I'm using the Aquarius Green, and the Glauconite, and that's this light color here. I'm using Holbein, which is HWC, I have Davies Gray, I have Mars Violet, and I have Yellow Green, I mean Yellow Gray. If you haven't tried this Yellow Gray, oh my goodness, I like it almost as much as Davies Gray, and that's saying a lot, because you know Davies Gray is my super superhero here. Then I have Isaro, I have Venetian Red, and I have Raw Sienna. And then I have Daniel Smith, the Lunar Red Rock, the Lunar Earth, and this Van Dyke Brown. Now Van Dyke Brown is new for me, so I'm gonna see how I really like working with it because that's what I'm gonna use for the stump here. And I know the thing that I need to start with is actually the dog because he's gonna be done wet on wet, and I wanna make sure that he dries so then I can go over here. So for the little dog here, I'm gonna use Glauconite and I'm gonna use the Van Dyke Brown. And I'm gonna do kind of wet on wet. Isn't he the sweetest? <laughs> Glauconite is a color that you do have to wet and let it sit there just a couple seconds in order to get, get it really activated. What I like about it, it reminds me of Buff Titanium, but is on the green side. When I was looking for colors to pull today, I pulled Buff Titanium and then I wanted something just a little lighter and not as yellow. And then I remembered Glauconite, which is my favorite Roman Schmal color, by the way. <laughs> I just really love this color. So I'm going to have a puddle of this here, but I'm also going to have another one next to it that I can mix that Van Dyke brown to, brown into. And you see, that's the Van Dyke, and that's the Van Dyke and Glauconite. It's, it's such a nice mix. This is just Glauconite on my brush. A little bit of water. The sketchbook I'm using has Fabriano paper in it. Fabriano cold press. I'm gonna do the head separate than the body. That way I can work and concentrate on getting values in there at one time without feeling rushed to get everything done. I could have wet this area first, but I didn't. Keeping my shape nice and pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go into my mix, adding a little bit more water. And I'm just trying to dirty this little guy up. That's it. I'm gonna touch into just the plain um, Van Dyke. Add just a little bit here and there. I've got a puddle here, so I'm going to kind of move that right there, let it go forward a little bit. And I want to definitely splash some water. Both of these colors are beautifully water activated and I like that. You know that's probably why I pick most colors that I do. <laughs> okay, we're going to do the same for the body and I'm just going to fast forward that.
Okay, he's pretty much done. He's got to dry for a while now. And I don't know if you can see, but the colors are looking very, very nice. I'll have to darken him in some areas. And I'm going to watch him because he is puddling right here. So just keep moving my book so that he drains a little bit. All right, let's start painting some colors. So while I'm over here, I'm going to paint these three. The top one was Roman Schmal Glockenite. Each color square here is cut out to um, an inch and a quarter. I just cut out a little square for myself and used it as a template. I'm going to take right into my paint and just blot some darkness up here in the corner. I like to see if I can get any color variation on this. The next color down is Davies Gray, Holbein or HWC. It's my favorite Davies Gray. I did a whole comparison with Davies Gray in case you don't know where yours stands or if you like the color or not. They were very different. This is still my favorite. Again, going straight into my tube, my tray here. I'm kind of keeping an eye on that in case I've got to splash it. Okay, I need to splash those two. And then the bottom one here is Daniel Smith Van Dyke Brown. Okay, we're going to move to the other side here. I've got Aquarius Green really far down here in the corner all by itself. <laughs> the poor little color. It was a choice between this and Daniel Smith's Zoazite Green kept going back and forth, back and forth, and I decided that if you were going to order a Roman Schmal color or the Israel colors, you might as well have another one to look at. This color does a little bit of separation, and so does the Daniel Smith Zoazite. It was a very hard choice. Up here, I've got Mars Violet by Holbein. It is such a pretty color. Look at the richness there. It's almost like a lighter kaput mortem. It's not as heavy. I mean, it's dark and it's opaque. It's not transparent by any means, but it's not as heavy as a kaput. We have some red leaves now that has this color on it because it's been cooler at night and they're starting to get all those dark spots, which I love. That's why this color is on this palette. The next color here is Lunar Red Rock. I did a whole video on the Lunar Colors by Daniel Smith, and I knew they had to be on my palette. <laughs> First of all, they separate wonderfully. If you've ever used anyone's Lunar Black, it is the same properties, so they separate great. And I love the depth of this color. It's just so beautiful. This color here is Venetian Red by Isaro, And I like the brightness, especially next to this color. It really shines. It is more on the orange side of a red than a red, I think. It reminds me of a brick red. See the contrast there? This has like a more violet and this is more on the orange side. I'm already really excited about this palette. I've been using these colors all month long, so they're really lovely. This one here is the Daniel Smith Lunar Earth. 
And I'm really surprised that the lunar colors too, they don't take a long time to re-wet. I would think with them being such a mineral color that they're, they would wet a little, be a little more difficult to wet. I've got a lot of water on this lunar red. I'm gonna pick some up. I'm gonna add a little more color. I splashed a little too heavy on it. This color here is Holbein Yellow Gray. If you don't know this color, you should. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's like a green, gray, yellow. Think of like pea soup. That's kind of what it reminds me of, which is not the best seller for it, but. <laughs> it's a very versatile color though. It dulls a lot of things down. It can also brighten. So if I was to mix this with the green over here, that dark green, it's gonna brighten it just a little bit. Even if I was to mix this with that Mars Violet, it would still brighten just a little bit because of the undertones are so much lighter. The last color we have is Isaro Raw Sienna. I like this one because of its chalkiness. It has a little bit of granulation. I have way too much water on my brush, so I'm hoping this color comes out nice. I want you to see, look at those gorgeous colors. Now, if that doesn't feel like fall, I don't know what would. <laughs> and they're just so pretty. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to do the leaf and fast forward and I'm going to do the apple and fast forward so that you can watch them. I'm gonna turn my paper, keep my arm out of it, so my leaf is here, and that way I won't be shoving my arm in anything. For the leaf, I'm going to be using Glauconite, Davies Gray, and a little bit of the Autumn Green. So I'm gonna start with the Glauconite, just like I did the dog, and then I will slowly add the other colors. For the dark, I'm going to add a little bit of Aquarius green, but I'm going to mix it with Davy, Davy's gray on my palette. I want to dull it down quite a bit. really like the colors of those leaves, so I'm interested to see what happens once it dries. I think I'm gonna add some salt to that. I'm waiting for it to just dry just a little bit more, and then I'm gonna add some salt. So I've just got regular table salt here. I wanna show you what it's doing already. It's already absorbing some of that paint. Do you see it? See the dark little crystals? It's 
gonna take a while to dry. When I'm using salt, I don't like to blow dry my things. I like it to just air dry because I feel like if you quicken the technique, it doesn't bloom as well. So if I was to blow dry this now, it wouldn't just keep absorbing water. And that's what happens is when it absorbs the water and the paint, it kind of like absorbs it like that and kind of pulls it up into the salt. And then it leaves a white ring on the paper. So I'm hoping that there was not too much water. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> okay, I'm going to paint this now and fast forward. And I'm going to do a little bit of the yellow orange and red here. So this was the Is Isaro Raw Sienna, the Lunar Earth, and the Isaro Venetian Red. I'm going to do the acorn next here, and it's a lovely hue of the raw sienna and a little bit of the lunar earth. I'm going to touch just a bit of the brown into it to dull it. So this is the mix of the colors. I'm going to touch just a little bit of the brown into it just to dull it down. That's actually a great color for the cap. While it's wet, I'm going to drop some of the dark into it. going to use a little bit of the yellow green and glauconite for the actual acorn itself. Glauconite should just dull it a little bit. So here is the yellow gray and here's some glauconite to it. I'm going to touch just a little bit of yellow. I want the acorn to have a little bit of brown. There we go. It's a pretty color. For the stem, I'm going to mix some of this Mars Violet and the yellow gray. Kind of makes a darker pea soup color. I'm going to fill in his little patches because it's really cute. And with that, I'm just going to use the Van Dyke Brown and a little bit of the glauconite, but mostly Van Dyke Brown because I want it to be a little darker. Remember that mix where we kind of mixed half and half? I'm going a little bit more Van Dyke. I'm gonna stay off of his eye.
for my tree stump here, I'm gonna do a light coverage first of the yellow gray because I really like that undertone underneath. I might touch a little bit of the raw sienna as well. I'm gonna do the brown on top. Okay, I'm gonna come in with Van Dyke. A lighter wash first and then for the detail I will go a little darker. This is all dry and wait till you see the textures on everything. I have labeled everything and I wanted to show you how I did the October favorites. So I just ran some type off on my computer and then on the back side, I just took a regular graphite pen pencil and went one way and then another. And then I used a T-squirt and taped it where I wanted. Once it's taped down, take like a mechanical pencil or a pen and I traced each of the letters carefully. It took a little bit of time. Before you lift it off, I lifted it up to make sure that I had everything. And then I removed the tape. For the labeling, I am using the Unipin marker in the light gray. For the October favorites, I use the 0.5. For all of the other writing of the colors, I used the Unipin in the light gray, but I used the 0.1. Now, what I have listed in the description box is a set of six. You get two of the light gray, two of the dark gray, and then two black, 0 0.1 and the 0 0.5. It's my favorite marker and they dry almost instantly, which I love. So let me refresh your memory on what we have here. This is Aquarius Green by Roman Schmall. This is Mars Violet by Holbein. This is Lunar Red Rock by Daniel Smith. This is Venetian Red by Isaro. This is Lunar Earth by Daniel Smith. Yellow Gray by Holbein. Raw Sienna by Isaro. Glauconite by Roman Schmall. Davies Gray by Holbein. And Van Dyke Brown by Daniel Smith. Now you remember that I put salt up here on the leaf, so look at the texture really carefully. See all those little dots and little granule spots? Those are from the salt. Didn't that turn out beautiful? And you see what the Glauconite, Davies Gray, and Aquarius Green does together. I think they granulate together and they play well. So here are the first three colors. The top one is the Mars Violet. The one underneath is the Lunar Red Rock. And then we have Venetian Red. Look at those colors, aren't they beautiful? Then on the bottom here, these bottom three, we have the Lunar Earth, the Yellow Gray, and the Raw Sienna. I don't want to forget this one way over here. We have Aquarius Green. And I want you to look at the beautiful way that that separates. It separates kind of into a yellow and a blue. And I just really like what the water splashes does to this. And you could see the texture on the apple. Isn't that gorgeous? 
And then we've got these three colors over here. I'm gonna turn them. I'm gonna turn them this way so you can see them. Van Dyke Brown, Daniel Smith, Davies Gray, Holbein, and Glockenite Roman Schmall. And then here's our little dog. Look how cute he is, you guys. <laughs> I will probably take a Posca pen and do a little white eye in here so I can see it a little bit better. And then there's the tree stump and the little mushroom. The mushroom spots, I just left the white of the paper. And now you can see how well the design worked. Where do you look first? Of course, his cute face is where I look first because I really like the way that he turned out. But usually you would look in this area. Remember, it was all about the fall colors for me. And that's why I placed these kind of irrelevant colors because they really don't gain your attention. All of these brightness is where I really wanted you to focus. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, learning a little bit about design, seeing what colors and what items inspired my October. I hope you'll give this lesson a try with your own colors and your own design. If you were inspired by today's content, please like, comment, or subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching.